What is going on you guys? It's that time of the month again where we're going to try another player error project. This one is on our typical TTM player error project. We're going to try it via paid signing, so it's really not trying. Um, it's paying for it, which is the hard part. <laughs> um, so this one's going to be Curly Culp. Uh, defensive tackle for the Kansas City Chiefs back in the day, the Houston Oilers um, is what I like him as. Um, kind of a fun fact about Mr. Culp is when he was with the Kansas City Chiefs and he was traded to the Houston Oilers, he was traded for John, oh man, what's it do, John Maruznik, I believe the, the, it's how it's pronounced. And so it was Curly Culp and a first rounder for John Maruznik. And that first round pick, we ended up drafting Robert Brazil. Let's say we, like I'm a Houston Oiler or something. Um, the Houston Oilers ended up drafting Robert Brazil with that first round pick. So for John Marisnik, the Oilers essentially got Curly Culp Hall of Famer and Robert Brazil Hall of Famer. Um, sounds like a pretty fair trade for me. Um, <laughs> I don't even know who this John Marisnik cat is. Uh, so really excited. Uh, it's not the tough or anything because it's a paid signing but I'm pretty geeked out um, just to knock out another player error project and via the price that I'm getting them at this signing you just can't beat it so uh, we'll turn this thing around and check out these cards and we'll go from there here is going to be three of his 1973 tops rookie card um, kind of fun fact about Curly Culp was I was already collecting NFL Hall of Fame autographs for about two years before I even, and this is going to sound bad, before I even knew who Curly Culp was. I didn't know who the hell he was, and I damn sure didn't know he was a Hall of Famer. Um, and the only way that I even found out was I was searching eBay one day, and I was searching um, Oilers game used. I was trying to buy some game used Oilers cleats or jerseys or what have you. And um, they had a, a pair of Curly Culp game used Houston Oilers cleats. And so I, I cut and pasted his name and went into football references and, and looked up who he was. And it said he was a Hall of Famer. And I thought it was some kind of typo. So then I went and did what I guess a lot of people might do and looked him up on the always reliable... Wikipedia <laughs> and uh, sure as shit it said the same thing and I couldn't believe it um, and so I didn't have a Curly Culp autograph in my collection probably till a couple years ago um, and now he does TTM I'm finding out here lately I've got a couple of them uh, I've got them a couple times in the past six months TTM and so I'm not Definitely not saying I may not do the Curly Cult Player Era TTM project in the future, um, but it's definitely nice to do the Player Era project right now via paid signing and just knock them all out right now. So here's his next card. And he actually just does not have that many player era cards um, I think there's six six cards here and then here's the last one so kind of short and sweet with him um, defensive tackles um, kind of typically don't have a ton of cards and uh, Mr. Carly Culp here is definitely no exception to the rule there. So once again, the price of this particular signing, have to dive in deep and get multiple rookie cards signed. And really just excited to knock out the entire player era set at one time. So let's see how these things look with some ink on them. So the package showed up today with the Curly Culp cards from the signing. Um, they did a really, really um, good job. I don't know the... I think the promoter's company's name is Above Average Autographs, I think. Um, the guy's name is Monk Wells, who runs the the show and, and uh, the promotion company there. And I think it's in Canton. But he did a really good job handling these cards. 
and a couple other items that I had. Oh, man, look at that, dude. If that's not a Gem Mint 10 signature, I don't know what the hell is. And that's actually on a really nice card. So it's a uh, Curly Culp's rookie card. Remember from, hell, what is that, about 30 seconds ago in this video, I showed you um, those three rookies. They look spot on now. Beautiful freaking autographs, man. Great pen. This might end up being one of my shorter player era videos. It's like he went a little off the card there. So that this particular card um, wouldn't get a 10 on the grading of the autograph. Because any time an autograph goes off the card like that, um, it'll automatically be at least a 9. So there's a little fun fact. And this was be his last player error card right here. So really cool, man. Really happy to knock out Mr. Curly Colt via paid signing. One hell of a price. Um, I'll be looking to get with Mr. Wells again next year during the Hall of Fame induction weekend. That's when the signing was. He does it every single year. And if you spend, I think it was at least $500 at his signing, he gives you wholesale prices or dealer prices I guess you could say um, so well worth you know all the stuff that I got signed so that's that I hope you all enjoyed it another player era project in the books I don't think I'll be doing the uh, player era project via TTM for Mr. Curly Colt I just don't think it's necessary and uh, it's not like it's going to be an upgrade and all these cards turned out beautifully so till next time adios be safe bye bye toodles